Are you a loner? A solo queue gamer who's struggling to rank up? Well fear not, because today I have three solo queue strategies for you to use on the map Clubhouse that's going to boost your KD and guarantee you more wins. So if you guys want to see more of these strategies on different maps, let me know and I'll do another map focused solo queue video. Our first strategy we are starting off with is OSA. And this is going to be for the CCTV cache bombsite attack. What you're going to do with OSA is come up to the roof, come over to this balcony, put a claymore on gym window, put an OSA shield and a claymore on bedroom window, and then break your OSA shield. Then put your last OSA shield on construction window and break it as well. And now with OSA, you're going to be taking control of the CCTV bomb site. So usually there'll be a rotate right here. You'll be able to watch. You'll be able to safely see the garage window. You can use your drones to start clearing out cash and check red stairs construction. Now, why did we set it up this particular way? Well, first off, the claymores are just to stop jump outs, but we don't have to worry about putting an OSHA shield on Jim because it is so far away from your position that when they jump out, they probably will not hit you immediately. And even if they demand to destroy your claymore, you'll at least have like a half second to react and take the gunfight. However, bedroom is a little bit closer. So we give them two things they have to destroy. They have to use an impact or C4 on the OSA shield. And then they still have to destroy the claymore underneath it. And that's also two sound cues you have to turn around as OSA. And then lastly, we put the OSA shield on construction. You can leave it undestroyed if you want to, but I just destroy it. That way they can't look through and just constantly call out exactly what you're doing on this window. And then if you really want to go in construction, say, I don't know, they're holding down this room really hard and you want to push construction, you can still pop it, pop in, start fighting. So that is the OSA strat. I use this one a lot especially when I'm solo queuing, and it works most of the time. You're not going to, you know, this won't win you the round entirely, but taking control of CCTV is huge. And then you're also able to cut off rotates from garage. You're able to watch cash. It just gives you a big power play that makes the defenders uncomfortable, makes them feel unsafe in sight. They're not able to rotate through it how they would like to. And now let's move on to defense for the other two strategies. This first strategy is for the Arsenal Church site on basement, and you're going to want to go mute with the shotgun. Now, as soon as you spawn in, you don't have to run upstairs immediately. You can sit here, you can make the head holes for your team, come over to this wall, make the rotate into Arsenal, and any other stuff your team wants you to do, you, you, the setup doesn't take very long. Toss a Mute Jammer right here, and you're gonna come up, another Mute Jammer right here. Then you're gonna put your third Mute Jammer on the second landing of the stairs. And then your last Mute Jammer, I like to throw it like right here. In case they bring a Dokubi, I don't have to run over and expose myself in this doorway. I can just come into here get rid of the the dope call and i'm good to go you're going to be holding kitchen from lodgy and now a lot of people when they do this setup they like open up a lot of this floor that's really not necessary come right here look kind of where this rug is bang you have the freezer door right there then you come over here in the corner a little bit like midway between the rug and the wall open up you can see the entire hatch and the jump in window if they try and take the hatch you can shoot it off with the smg if they're trying to jump in this shotgun will easily down someone from this distance as well as this one since you're not making a bunch of giant holes they're less likely to notice you so if we go down to kitchen this is what they're seeing yes they can see there's a hole but if they're if they're just rushing in this is not as noticeable as if you you know you opened up the, the entire this they will see this they might not even notice and it's kind of like an odd angle so when you're sitting up there you're only at this bottom part you're not like covering the entire space i'm outside this window 
I can't fight this angle, really. Like, maybe I could start shooting at you, but I'm not going to kill you. I have to hop in. If I hop in, I'm shotgunned. I'm dead. And same thing from this angle. You can cover this. They are not opening the hatch. And the strong point of this strategy is that they try and push you out. They're going to have a very, very difficult time. They try and drop Lodgy Hatch, even all the way from here. If you get hit with the shotgun, you're going down. There's no chance you're surviving that. I can play the desk if I want to make it harder to hit me. I can come play close on the hatch, contest it. And now if they try and push from the hallway, they're either going to have to start wasting utility opening up these walls to push me out, or they're going to have to push from the door. And again, I have the shotgun and the SMG-11. Mute is just an absolute beast when it comes to weapons. So you really just, you just have to hold this. Wait for them to push in. They're dead. If you, I don't know, if they're pushing you at five people and you do want to get out of here, bang, three shots, I'm gone. Now, I'm not safe, you know, I just have to go and retake garage, but I'm out of the room. And then I can come back easily. I don't recommend putting any kind of rotate uh, until you know you have to leave because it just makes it easier for them to push you. They can come through cash and, and just come straight in here and you might not realize it. So it's easier just to, to have this all... Locked off. You can even barricade this door. I don't really find it necessary. Because one, it gives them a tip off. Uh, like if they're droning, they're like, oh, this is barricaded. Probably someone in there. And then also, you're usually only going to get pushed by like one or two people here. So having the door isn't going to do that much for you. It's easier just to have it ripped down and just play this close angle like this. Play it here. The only danger is playing it here. You can get flashed. But you play it here. You can hear when they pull the pin. Swing them. Easy. That is the first setup. The next setup will also be for logistics, but in a much different way. So let's get to that. So for this setup, you're going to be playing in Logi. You're going to become an Logi anchor as a zombie. And you're going to use all of your keeper barriers for this setup. So keep that in mind and use them in whatever order you think the enemy, like you think the enemy is going to do a push from construction, you may want to set it up a little bit differently, or same way, but in a different order. But let's get started. You first keep a barrier, come to this th bottom third panel on the main Logi bedroom wall, toss it about right there, and then your second one, you see this, this seam on the top right area, toss it about in the middle of it, okay? Now this is going to give you a nice peek I kind of messed up my impact grenade. Ideally, you'll have <laughs> you'll have a, a better impact right here. You're gonna have a nice angle onto the gym window from this. And if we go to gym window real quick, this is what they're looking at. Okay, they they see nothing basically. Like you see a little hole in the wall, kinda. They're not going to immediately realize there's an Azami playing there. And they are. They're gonna start like spraying the wall like this, and you're pretty much 90% protected. They have to be able to hit your head exactly. This is a really strong angle. You can also kind of play it on the, the bomb chassis in the same way if they're pushing in from construction. Now, the main way they're going to clear you out is from the hatch or from the construction wall. So, I'm going to give you a couple different strategies to counteract that. The first one, toss a keep a barrier on this little, I guess it's like the lip of the bookcase. Right here, that gives you a angle that you can hold right here but not just right there you're also going to throw it on the middle of this edge right here because that way if they're pushing you from construction they're like oh keep a barrier she's gonna be right here no nope, psych she's right here on the second keep a barrier and then your last one you can actually play this angle or you can just use it an angle that the defenders are worried about they're not sure if you're there or not throw it in the middle of this desk pretty much it's going to the chair is going to create this like triangle shaped part of the kiva barrier and if you want you can play this for when they push around i usually just like to have a teammate play here if they want to you know you're gonna be solo queuing you're not gonna have people you're talking to but a teammate has the option to play this i prefer to just stay in my little nook right here in secret but it's it's up to you if you feel you know, unsafe right here if they destroyed all your barriers and they're they're about to make a push into this room. You come back here, 
And again, that's a tough angle to fight, especially with your other barrier right here. It makes it like a double depth angle where they have to look close and far to fight you. It's not as good angle as the gym one, of course, because it's only with one barrier, but it's still pretty solid. You can use this to watch the hatch drop as well, or even contest the hatch because the top of your head is covered from this angle. And now, of course, um, being just stuck in secret, your biggest weakness is going to be nades. So watch out for that. It may be, you know, if they break the hatch, if you hear a sledge break the hatch or something, you may want to just move around to here. It's, or if they're droning you, you know, as soon as they drone you, move a little bit so you can't just get naded out of the spot. Or, you know, if a teammate brings a Jaeger or a Wamai or something, that can help you out as well if they happen to put one in here. But usually, if they don't get you with their nades, they'll be so intimidated by the setup that they just won't even want to drop Lodgy. It's like a weird fight to take because they don't know, like, especially if you get their drones, they're not going to know. You could just be sitting here, not even on a Kiva barrier at all. I don't think you can get a... Eh, you could be here, but that's a bad angle. You could be on this Kiva barrier if they're pushing construction. You could be here. You could be behind the desk. This strategy really works for intimidating the opponents, making the attackers feel uncomfortable. They don't want to push in because they don't know exactly what's going on. They don't know exactly where you're going to be. So those are the three solo queue strategies. I hope you guys use these in your games. Try them out. Let me know what you think. And also let me know what map you want me to do next. I'm going to do another one of these solo queue strategy type videos but we're going to do them map focused so that way when you go into a ranked match and you're solo queuing you at least have three rounds where you know what you're going to be doing that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video